Hey YouTube, it's your boy Strictly Broken here, back at it again with another Strictly Locals for you guys, episode 2 of season 2, and today I have a recurring guest from season 1, I'd like him to welcome himself. Hello, uh, I'm Tim Tom the Bim Bomb. <laughs> you want to shout out the, the channel you started with, uh, the cast just? Oh so sure, uh, recently started a channel with Uncle Butts and Coconuts link in the description i guess um starting a series called brunch before weiss where we do in-depth meta-analysis of sets and maybe other stuff in the future who knows but yeah link in the description it's cool it's cool it's cool uh it's some good stuff i honestly you know strictly broken endorsed you know it's some good content um can you see the the game just fine yeah yeah all right top eight matt dude yeah, do I have to flex to show which one is me? You know what I'm saying? Huh. Um, so, because a lot of you guys have asked me for it, and because I think it's the most relevant thing that people want to see right now, I decided to film an AOT mirror match. So, AOT versus AOT. The person on the right, good friend of mine, uh, has a couple proxies. Uh, we used CG Stock Suiciders to proxy for Aaron Stock Suiciders. <laughs> CG Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> for the Krista Salvage Ricky. And all right, all right. A backwards card for the a backwards card for the Aaron one zero global the the one zero Aaron that gives one K on your turn and tap you five hundred. Dang, looks like uh Jerry on the right. Had a good hand. You only ditched one card. And you ditched the brainstorm and the uh combo? Is that the combo? Yeah. yeah. Uh so so right what's on... your what's your approach to the Mulligan actually? Uh, so in this, this is the mirror, part. right? So in every matchup, I would probably ditch five for the wind. But there's like some very good cards in the mirror that I didn't want to ditch, right? Yeah. Runner, yeah. Ricky, stuff that like if I drew wind, it would probably pref like help me get to the level one first. It's just too important. So uh, I was like, okay. Um, in fact, I ditched the Aaron one zero because if I wanted to Ricky, that's the best Ricky target. Yeah, it's fair. I mean, yeah, and you have, and you run four. Like, probably draw another one. Any typical double zero things. Um, so, I mean, how important is gear in this matchup? Do you think? Gear being the card, so not. I think gear is so important. It's not a card you want to get off Aaron. Like people will mulligan gear, expecting to get it off the one zero. That's just wrong right. in this matchup, right? You mm -hmm. hold the gear, like. I would argue that it's even wrong to ditch gear in every matchup because you could just gear for Aaron. But it's true. It's valid to ditch gear in other matchups. Whereas in this matchup, if you have gear, you can't ditch it. And so I ditched two in my opening hand. I had like one gear in hand. I couldn't ditch. Mm -hmm. it. I couldn't afford to ditch it. Yeah. Wait, you triggered two soul. Yeah, I did. I did. Which is oh, it's OP, and he took it. Wow. <laughs> but it's a terrible trigger in this type of matchup. You know. If he... Uh, yeah. If he gets to level one first, uh, which he probably will now. Thing is, it's not a, it's not a very uh, valuable Aaron. So it's uh, one thing to note that when me and Jerry play, we we both slow roll. Oh, my stomach's there. That's hot. <laughs> this is inappropriate, dude. <laughs> oh god, it's supposed to be family friendly. Dude, <laughs> it's a very fr family. Fr you know, it's like stuff like that. I could use to like time mark the video, like what my stomach shows. But yeah. yeah. Um, uh, what do you? Uh, did you just play it? Yeah, he just... played it, but he forgot. Oh, what he his just took it. He thought that was the stock suicider. <laughs> he, he thought that was the stock suicider. So I'm like, dude, that's not the stock suicider. And he's like, oh, that changes everything. And I'm like, sure. Okay. You know, we're playing with proxies. Uh, ooh, he has two errands. Doesn't have the wind though. Yeah. That's do you have the wind in your hand at this point? No. No, neither players win. But you have what? And you both have one mobile I, gear? I have two move gear in hand. Yes, you have two. He has one? Yeah. Okay, well. So I'm, I'm going to spoil it a bit ahead because I think there's going to be a lot to talk about about the mind games in this matchup. Uh, both of us don't actually get the combo off, which makes move gear an absolutely terrible card to keep in hand. <laughs> <laughs> but So I'm holding two. He's holding one. Nice. All right, so... <laughs> He's gonna... 
level up here. He doesn't have a win, so he's just going to get the arm in. Like, yeah, he's going to get the arm in. This card's like the worst. Maybe he gets the... Maybe, does he get a gear off this? That'd be pretty good. Like oh, was oh, with me, dramatic. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Gets a bomb. Not like the best card, but whatever. He... Deciding what to he's deciding what to attack with. Yeah, might be. Um okay, okay. There it is. He's playing around you know, he he's obviously playing around as if playing as if you have the wind. It's just so much flirting going on, man. It's 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 a very interesting dynamic where I it's just it's just funny when this happens and neither player has the wind. <laughs> <laughs> um I mean, is there any point at which you would... Is there... How would you make that read? Would you ever make that read? I actually think you can't make the read in Jerry's position where... because And it's very nice for Jerry, actually, that Ooh. I can't make that read. Like, um... It's just... Like, because, cause, cause, like, in that type of, type of position, you might not choose to not air in anyways if you're greedy enough. Uh, it's such a hard read to make. Because, uh, if, if you don't have, like, two move counters... Or if you don't have any move counters in hand, like if you do the Aaron combo there, I can still get reverses off. Uh, it's just it's it's, it's it's an impossible read. You actually can't make the read there. Um, oh yeah, so uh, I mean, I guess you could read. I mean, at this point, he probably knows you don't have a combo, right? Because you opted to leave. Like you could have left a reverse target. Oh yeah. If or I, is, yeah. Or is, yeah. yeah. He would know he could make the read because I didn't move. Like he probably reads now that I don't have the combo because Yeah. Uh yeah, because I just wanted the open lane because I didn't have the combo at the time. Mm -hmm. Oh <laughs> But so I, All right. I, could, I couldn't make the read. Oh this is the funny part. I couldn't make the read. I think he has triple combo in hand getting ready to so I take that. I take that <laughs> <to my head. laughs> All right, is, okay, so, like, he's probably happy about that, like... <laughs> yeah, he knows what hand is, like, super dead. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually super interesting, actually, how this game plays out in that sense. Okay, now you're just playing Krista for the plus. Um, you're getting the Armin back? I guess? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And now, now he knows, like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oopsies. I, I use it, and I mill up two more uh -oh. ways. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> which, which makes me feel really sad, because if, if I if I brainstormed, I would have hit two. So that was bad. unfortunate. Uh, pretty unfortunate, but... Okay, so... Depending on how you attack here. I mean... Let's see. Uh, would you use Mookie here, if you're Jerry? Like... At all, like he knows you don't have the combo. You you just you just you're out all your wins. I think are you? You're out like I'm out you have one left. You have one left in deck, yeah. in a pretty big deck. Do you do it? Do you is like is using gear on the table right now this turn to save something or no? I mean, all my characters are over, right? What is he trying to save? He might try to. Well, I mean, he could, just, win. he could just save like a character for next turn or something. I think it, he, yeah, okay, okay, there it is. It's it's arguable. Once again, like, you don't have to because the character you save, if you try to do triple combo next turn, it's actually just going to interfere. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I guess he didn't have a brainstorm, so... In, in fact, if you use the move counter here, it almost makes me want to think you have the wind, actually, because you, you're, you're ditching the move gear to be yeah, able to... Yeah, from value. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it's just it's just too saucy because like none of us have anything going for us this game. If you oh okay, yeah, I mean so like if you knew he was gonna do that, would you want him to have attacked in the open lane second, not first? So because right now he's giving himself another reverse target if he does have the combo. Yeah. Uh, wow, and he cancels. <laughs> I think I think I think just in this matchup, you just want to be rushing as much. 
like if you don't have the win going for yourself i i almost feel like it's not essential to be dodging their wins after a certain point like if you do right sure first, i mean sometimes yeah. yeah sometimes at a certain point it's like you're making really suboptimal plays just to uh what's is that okay that's the counter is that's actually the counter right yeah he's actually playing that counter which is okay, you okay. know it's fine more, i think it's might arguably be better than the memory cat kick counter at the moment but yeah sure um yeah i mean at a certain point you're like it's pretty hard to keep playing to avoid the win counter um because at a certain point you want you want to save those gears for late game too yeah. um so he doesn't have the win right he, he actually doesn't have the win so <laughs> none of us have the win uh, so this continues, <laughs> gentleman's wise. No one's playing in climaxes. Yeah, because this deck, like, if you don't have the win, your your other climax is complete. Poop. It's pretty. It's pretty bad. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> you you might even just want to save it. I don't know, like for something else. There's no like there's not there's not much value here even because like like you split two k one to get to kill stuff, but you're probably not. Oh, okay. You're probably not killing stuff. Uh, it's just a minus one at that point. And if you don't have a combo, can't really tank minus ones just randomly, I don't think. And yeah, both of you are playing Krista for advantage now. <laughs> uh, it's just, yeah, it's a good card. Um, other good card in this matchup is the change. Um, but I don't know if, Which I don't change? Remember. The Mikasa? Yeah, or both, the actually, army. If both, you pull both off changes? the double, if you pull off the, the four card change, well, it's actually it's a three card change combo. It's actually really strong in this matchup. Well, I don't even know yeah. if any of us pull it off. I mean, you probably do want to get the both changes out if you're going to change it all. Because yeah. you don't want your opponent to like, oh, there, he hits yeah. one. Yeah, I win. Yeah, it'd be pretty bad. It's one. He has, like, much more. It's it's worth noting he has much more advantage than me. Yeah, I mean, because he's hitting Brainstorms and you're not. And you do even have Brainstorm? I do, I do have it, but there was you, no, do? In, you just no didn't. You just, to play yeah, it. okay, okay. Because you didn't have you used your stock that turn. Yeah. The, the thing with move <laughs> counter is like. <laughs> 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 All right, he searches for the ones here. <laughs> That's an interesting. I mean, uh, is he actually just flirting with you now, searching yeah. for that card? <laughs> I think he's actually just flirting, but uh. No, no, this one thing I want to point out is, like, if you don't have to play a brain... A lot of people like putting their back root down. But in AOT, like, if you don't have to put something down... Yeah, you, you you don't have to. Like, there's no... There's not much benefit. Especially in this matchup where you don't need to... You don't you don't need power to reverse stuff. If you can go... Like, if you can just roll with one back row the entire game, you're probably fine with that. Because it's also less information about what's in your hand. Um... Which was that? I was gonna say something, uh, but I forgot what it was. GG. He was searching the Aaron. He was flirting with me. Oh yeah, it was a comment about mobility gear. That card is actually just really weird because, um, so it's super versatile, right? There are a lot of different use cases. Uh, sometimes, sometimes there are like simultaneous use cases that wherein you'd use it in like different ways so for example sometimes let's say like uh the scenario would be like if you have a direct attack right um do you attack in the direct slot first or the direct attack direct slot like later uh, yeah. sometimes i mean sometimes it's sometimes it's really hard actually i think it's really hard <laughs> Yo, you flirted <laughs> yeah he just flirted dude <laughs> Uh, he's going full board now, I think. Um, he wants to use those move counters in your hand. Mm. Wait, sorry, continue with your thought. Uh, but yeah, so like whether you whether you play around the ways you can play around move counter, like do you actually like? And it's and depending on what the player wants, it could be a bad idea or a good idea to to like to change your attack order based on. Uh, like to play around move gear, I think. He's playing around it pretty optimally here. Like, yeah, yeah, he's getting ties. He's he knows you don't have advantage because you haven't uh you, you don't have combo. 
he wants to. He I think he knows you have move mobility gears, like a lot of them in your hand. So he wants you to use them, but uh, you're not. I you don't, don't feel. I don't feel incentivized to use them, Lift. Because like, um, it's. I I always. I think I always play in a way where it's like. Like I could just push stuff up, you know what I mean? I could. That's one character. I just need two more. Is what I'm. Is my mentality. Like the one in the back row right now is one attacker. Yeah, I mean, I mean more like, gearing to. Actually, it doesn't even matter. This is a matchup where it doesn't. You can't make plays like that. I guess. I was thinking more about using gear to give you give you possible reverse targets, but. Uh, this is. This is probably not a matchup where you can just do that. So. You're probably just, yeah, you mash brainstorm like so. The and the Armin comes into play a lot of the time when I'm trying to hold three gears because it turns my gear into a playable sometimes, which is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a gear. The are you gonna, gear. Are you gonna get four gears in there? <laughs> I, I think yeah, I, I think I did, but I just dished that. I, 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 I mean, at a certain point, it's like <laughs> the, too many, Richard. too much of a too much of a good thing, right? Uh, the Mikasa runner in the back is actually really nice, um, because when you have open slots, because it's like uh, you almost you can move her up. I don't know, but he doesn't. Oh, he oh Mill. Does he move it up this turn? I think uh, I don't remember what he does. Because you can just move it up, and you'll get like you'll get a like an extra soul. Oh shit. GG. Bad player or something. Uh, <laughs> if Sherry's gonna hear that, he's gonna be like, fuck you. <laughs> do, 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 do. I think he was thinking about move. Is there a reason why you attack there first? Like, uh, direct slot? I actually wanted to bait him to use the move. Cause yeah, yeah, you want him to use there, the count. Two cards yeah, out, right? yeah. yeah. Alright. But he doesn't use it. He's going uh, back actually... to seven now, right? Oh, cancels. Yeah. He's going back to seven now, right? Because he triggered a uh, two soul. Yeah. yeah, okay. And he's missing the split two. That's actually pretty bad, actually. I hate... I really hate it when that happens. Yeah. It happened to me as well. Like, my first yeah. stock is also a split. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wait, no. That got kicked out by the stock bomb. No, I triggered another one. You triggered one. another one? Okay, okay. Yeah, sure. That's actually the worst. Um, yeah. Four one less split two K one year. Um, let's see. Okay, so... I mean, are either of you in a position to change? Like, do either of you want to do that? I, I don't know if you, if either of you actually want to do that. I'm not in the... I'm not in, like, uh... I don't think I'm in a good position being the... I think he's in a better position to do it than I am, if that makes sense. Hmm, Okay. Because he's going to the 2-1, he hit the 2-0 sweet spot, which is, like, pretty nice. Uh, it's not actually a sweet spot, it just feels aesthetically nice to be able to go to 2-0. <laughs> like, there's no, there's actually no difference between, like, uh, there would be no difference, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, right now he's, uh, right now, uh, he is, well, he's the first... To take direct attacks in his new deck, that's something. Um, whereas the attacks you've taken so far were in your first deck. Um, mm, Yo, he can play the Levi early play. He doesn't play that card. Yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> and he draws the split two. Oh, that's pretty nice actually. Uh, so he doesn't have to worry about getting that later. Jerry loves flirting here. Holy! <laughs> it gets a move counter. I mean, at this point, at this point, the game's like kind of. You're just flirting around the level three at this point. Um, yeah. The combo actually just doesn't matter right now. Oh, I mean, it also doesn't matter when you hit brainstorms like that. But. Um, yeah, so the combo doesn't matter that much anymore, I think, right? You're just yeah. 
you're just you're just searching for level three stuff. Um, okay, Jerry's probably not changing anymore. Just because it doesn't need to. Yeah, there really is no incentive. You change, you basically go on the stock crunch. That's like that turn. You're basically stunting your level three game. Yeah, you unless unless yeah, unless you know you're gonna cancel. Unless you're very confident that you're gonna cancel. That's what well, I'm saying. That's yeah. why two zero is like a sweet spot, but it's it's not actually a sweet. But like it it's you don't feel like you're gonna hit level three usually when you're two zero. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Especially in this matchup, like. Uh, I don't think either player is incentivized even to clock. That much? I mean, Jerry just clocked this turn, but like, uh, I mean, I don't think you're going to be playing the wind that often right now. Yeah. Mm. All right, he's still playing around the move counter. I mean, sorry, he's still playing around the combo. He's, A little bit, yeah. Yeah, he's fielding the bomb. Getting some trades. Which are really good, I think. I mean, the bomb is especially good for that. Oh, yeah, yeah. But the, the funny thing is, like, this matchup is, like, all the, because all the brainstorms and all the power givers are all on your turn only, it's so easy to make efficient, even trades. It's, like, it's almost, like, you, you almost want... I mean, that. it's easy to make trades because you guys are playing the same cards. Exactly. Well, <laughs> oh, it's a win. Okay. All right. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, triggers here are actually really good. Um, I think uh, nice way to just do extra damage without committing a climax, which you don't really want to do if you're AOT. I think. I actually screwed up here. Um, oh, you like, move counter. What are you searching I for? I wanted to move counter. Because I was like, wait, first I grabbed the wind because I was flirting. I grabbed the air because I was flirting with Jerry. I'm like, I'm going to draw winds. I'm going to flirt with you, hella hard. And oh, he's okay, like, okay. He's like, can you do this? And then he, and I changed. He's like, are you actually going to do this to me? And I'm like, and, and I think I changed after doing a couple shuffles. <laughs> but, uh. Searching for the burner instead? Yeah, there it is. If I let him stalk suicide, that it actually pays out my double sword. Mm -hmm. just, mm -hmm. nice. yeah. so, mm -hmm. Now that I'm looking at this game in retrospect, that, that would be pretty nice. Dude. Oh, man. He baited you. She baited. But I don't think he was considering that. I think that was something. No. Yeah. It's just, uh, it is something that comes up in hindsight, though. Did you, you knew, right? Did you know? that You knew that was, the climax was there, right? No, like, no, I'm, like, literally Or, or you just now. forgot. Okay. Because I was planning that play. Like, that was a play I wanted to make. Like, I really wanted to make. Ash? And I actually end up drawing the win. I'm like, fuck you, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And then I actually clock and draw another win. Oh, geez. okay. Bad. It's like, <laughs> wins are coming a bit too late, man. Oh, now you're playing the burner. You're committing the burner. Uh, or not. Man, if you had the wind, you could have just had a sandbag turn. Yeah, a pretty strong sandbag. Yeah. yeah, you deny reverses, you get move gears back. It's pretty nice. Uh... <laughs> so you're committing burners before he is. Um... I'm actually... Do you, do you play the second here? I guess you don't. Are you trying to... So what I do was I decided, if depending on how I hit this brain, so if I don't hit, I would invest differently. But if I hit, I would search Aaron, and I would go double combo. Ah, like okay. The burner, you know Okay, saying? okay, okay. Do you play over the Armin runner here? Uh, no. Uh, did I? I think I do. Yes, I do. I did, I did. I feel like that would be... I mean, you just don't want the burner to die. Probably. Do you know what I realized? I realized this right after I did the combo. Yeah. That if the his if he hits level three and he uses Mikasa, if he sides those errands, I can't bounce them anyways, and burn for one cycle. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay. So I realized that after, and that was something I never considered in the matchup. So that's something you guys should watch out if you guys are trying to use errands to dodge. 
the combo. Um, it just never come up for me yet until this game, actually. It was a very weird moment for me. Okay. So, Sandbag is the name of the game. Uh, how many split 2K ones do you have left in there at this point? Do you know? Like, three or two? I think I had... I think I had three climaxes left in deck. Don't remember which ones. Oh yeah, do you burn here? I mean, should you have delayed that attack until later? Um, probably. But I, I was pretty convinced I didn't want. Oh to okay, go. okay, yeah, that's fair. And th that was the bigger hit, and he had less climaxes in deck. He had, he didn't have a lot of climaxes left in deck. Um, I did, the attack order actually doesn't matter, but it's just. You know, because yeah, attack order doesn't matter. Sure, superstition could, and whatnot. You could argue that... I, I think it's probably better to swing with that one last. Um, but I was pretty convinced I wasn't going to... Yeah, I mean... But if he takes it all... Oh, you have a split suitcase in your hand. Yeah, I had it in hand. Yeah, I was, hand. Okay, I was okay. planning to move it away and then winning the next turn, you know? Yeah, yeah. I had split 2k1 and two Mikazes in hand, so it was... It was a, this is the game plan, right? Move it away and then trip yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can play two more, and you can get uh, two burns. You can get five burns that turn, actually, which is yeah. pretty nice. Uh, which is actually just <laughs> absurd, I think. Uh, Seven stock, five burns. If, if you actually get the reverse, though, which is hard. Okay, so Jerry's just going in. And he plays the third Mikasa here. <laughs> he plays the third Mikasa here. Uh, I mean, sometimes against, against, I think against other decks, you'd probably just play two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but here he plays the third because he doesn't think he can get reverses. Obviously, because Aaron's will bounce back. And you have, you, and you, and you, and you have a counter. You have a gear in your hand. And he plays I have, combo. I have three gears in my yeah, hand yeah, still. Yeah. He puts a split 2k1 there, right? Or, yeah, yeah okay. It's a... Is that is that good? Uh, is that necessary? Uh, 3k counter outs it if you don't put it there. Right. I mean, is it not in your waiting room? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you should. Might be, but like, like, who knows how your lists change? That's true. That's it gives true. you, it gives you, if you decide not to swing with it first, it gives you a flexibility depending on your triggers to give you a side for one. Maybe, um, yeah. Because you can know your deck better than I know your deck, right? Uh -huh. It was all, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, swing for three isn't the end of the world, so just better to be safe. I mean, he could have just played like a global, right? If you had a global, and that would have been enough. Yeah. It's a so one thing to know about this guy and his end game is he takes forever to figure out his. Yeah, attack. yeah, yeah. I mean. You played him before, right? Yeah, that's pretty important. It's pretty important to figure out what you're gonna do. Uh, I do think he could. He probably could have played over the runner. I think. Mm, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Just a, just so, because uh, this this way he actually just can't avoid burns now. And you could save like he could actually save all three Mikasas. Yes, so yes, because like, he does have gears in hand, so maybe a slightly misplay, but uh. Yeah, I would call it a misplay. It's it's because the Mikasa actually doesn't do anything. It's, yeah, yeah, it doesn't. Not arguably, it could do something. Like, does he side this attack? Or no, he front. Okay, he bounced. He bounced. Okay, okay. This is worth three. If this lands, it's pretty good. But it doesn't. Good player. good player, dude. <laughs> yeah, good player. Oh, yeah? Okay. <laughs> oh, he's like, burn. <laughs> dude, he's like, flirting, dude. I, I didn't see the trigger, because you guys can see it, but from your angle, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Maybe he saw it. Maybe he's cheat boozling me, man. All right. I, I forget. How many climaxes do you have left? Uh, oh, there's this. Oh wait, I want to talk about this. This is a huge thing that I've never had to experience until now. This is very fascinating interaction between. Or are you? Are you? Oh, are you just? Are you thinking about using gear yeah. here? Yeah, I'm thinking about using okay. gear. So you can either bounce the Aaron, right? Right. 
or you can use gear after he declares his attack to thin out your deck once. What? And I think I ultimately chose to leave Aaron there. Oh, I mean, you can bounce there and then gear. Uh, yeah, you can. Wait, you can? Yeah, you can. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can. I, I think we, me and Jerry <laughs> said that after. Yeah, 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 yeah I remember. Yeah, I, was like, I was like, why was I thinking? I could even I could just use counter <laughs> just, step anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you, yeah. Can, you, yeah. Can, ditch you can ditch the Aaron even. That you bounce yeah, back. Yeah, to. yeah. So I think I think, but I was thinking at the time. I'm like, hmm, that was so weird. But then, yeah, you you do get your counter step anyways, even if your character's missing. Yeah. So. So you're thinking about whether to use gear here. You decline the bounce. Um. Which I should have bounced. But probably. later on, I was like, oh, I could just bounce anyways. Yeah. Uh. How many climaxes left in your deck? Like. Uh, two. Two, and you have like a eight card deck or something. Okay. Yeah. You probably won't get another chance to use gears, so. I think he's thinking about what to bounce with that wind. Oh, is that what's happening here? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So you're just waiting on him. Like he. Okay. I, he I mean, well, uh, do you bounce? Do you bounce the Mikasa, Brian? Uh, he was thinking about it. I think he ultimately decided to bounce it, but it was a long, it was a long thing. Yeah, because he put the soul there, even. Uh, is that something maybe he should have played around? The bounce, because he knew he had some left in deck. Uh, me? No, 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 him. Because he assigned the soul there, but like now, if he bounces the burner, it's pretty bad. He's attacking for four in that lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, so. and bouncing the burner is actually huge. So, yeah, probably actually swing there, swing there first is like significantly better, because you can bounce it. Yeah, you can bounce it later. later. Yeah, you can yeah. bounce it. You can bounce it later. Uh, and you can he can even force you to gear, and then he bounces, <laughs> which, yeah, is which is really funny. Value, which yeah. is pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I actually have nine cards in deck. One, two, three, four, five. Nine. Okay, so, he, uh, oh, he bounced there. He bounced the Aaron. Yeah, but I told him. Oh, yeah, he bounced the Aaron. I'm like, I can still, you know, I can still use move counter, right? And he's like, oh, oh. I want to bounce the Aaron. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so he goes back. All right, all right. And he bounces the burner. Okay. And you move counter. Well, I put it back because you don't move first, but yeah. Okay, this, this, nice okay. a healer a healer you don't you'll know you won't you won't play probably if i wanted to yeah basically i wanted the option available because he might hit me to three six yeah you know what i'm saying yeah i gotcha i gotcha the this is where this is huge i want to talk about this this is where i lost the game basically <laughs> um this is where i basically lost the game because all right all right i i was gonna move to the back row that was very i was convinced i was gonna move it to the back row but then i decided to move it there oh Whoa. Oh, wait! You can still Which, bounce him. Yeah, but he could just side with burn one, side for two. Is and this I hit? Take, like I uh, take this oh. attack. I take this. Oh attack. no! <laughs> you know what? Uh, I, mean? uh, I think <laughs> I was so convinced I was gonna cancel oh, the attack. Oh man! I moved, and in retrospect, yeah, yeah. I thought about it. I should always just move elsewhere because. If I go to 3-5, if this was swinging direct with a burn, I still probably wouldn't die unless a very specific scenario Yes, happens. yes. Uh, he so he's side, he's side, I, side. I he can't cancel, cancel the and then he triggers to 2? He's already siding for 2. Oh, that's right, because he put the power there. But the... And I die. Oh, man, that feels <laughs> Oh, and you, and you get up. All right. Oh, and you flip the... Woo! <laughs> so, Woo! <laughs> I think I tried to really out mind game Jerry there, and it actually cost me the game. <laughs> Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Tried to be too cute. Yeah, honestly, it was in my mind. So the exact mentality I was going through was if I w so the thing, the big thing that in retrospect, I wasn't even favored to cancel. It was actually because I wasn't like higher than two and six. I was actually lower than two and six. Like I could take it like pretty reasonably and it wouldn't be like i wouldn't be able to say like i got sad because it was very fair that i take three 
Like, it was just irrational. Because if I moved empty, he couldn't side for lower points of damage. Yeah. Mm. And, like, even if I moved, and, and he, d he does cancel, there are, like, multiple... Like, if I just eat... Like the, if if I if he snipes up the climax with the burn, I'll just die anyways. <sighs> like it's just actually, yeah. No, I wouldn't die. I would be a three. Well, five. you'd be like three five, right? Three five. Um. It does. Okay, I mean, moving there and there, air and there does give you another opportunity to move counter. If you wanted to, I think that's I think that's a fair use case. Like um. Because if you did cancel. Um, you're probably move gearing that attack, right? Yeah. If he does decide, yeah. which you wouldn't, which you, which you, you'd probably have to front, because he didn't have, he wouldn't have enough damage on the board if he canceled the attack. But yeah, I don't know. Hard to say. I, t <laughs> I think it's really easy to say it was a misplay, like a big misplay, because uh, the result came comes immediately afterwards. But um, I mean. There's definitely some good rationale there, I think. Yeah, it was just Even if you judged it to be a mistake in hindsight. I, I think it was just wrong. I, I, I don't know. It, it's, it's, in, in the moment, I thought I was a genius. <laughs> <laughs> in the moment, I'm like, Jerry, oh boy, you're going to get your, your cock out played, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I, can, I can just see the look on his face as he takes the attack. He's like, oh, this, this, this world champion right here. Uh, that was a... Uh... I mean, if I had to lose to someone, it should be uh, who I consider to be Sugoi. <laughs> uh, oh boy, that was a that was that was a saucy game. But um, you know, looking at this game, so we always talk about in every video I've made involving AOT, I always talk about how the matchup always involves whoever can do combo wins. And you can see a matchup where both players don't do a combo at all. Do you think? Do you think there's a way to actually play for this match? Because I think we actually played, maybe didn't play it optimally. I think there's a way to play that's better if you just assume your opponent doesn't have combo, mm. or if you even want to make that assumption. So what do you think about that? If you want to play as if your opponent doesn't have combo, um, yeah. I mean, at a certain point. Uh, you really need move gear. You really want move counters later. I think it's I think it's really bad if you're forced to use your move counters earlier. Um, especially if you know if you especially because since your combo actually you can't rely on your combo to get your gears back in the mid game. If you have to use your gears in the mid game and you can't get them back, and you need them at late game, and I think you you want them late game like every game. Like, that's just, even if your opponent isn't using on reverse stuff, it's a powerful enough effect that I think you just want to use it. Um, yeah, I mean, at a certain point, I think maybe you just say, I don't care about the, I, I don't care about. Um, whether they have combo. Or yeah, not. whether they have combo or not. At a certain point, you just have to play wise, I think. Yeah, and you, you, I mean, we, we've tested games, you and you and I, where I just held them off. I let you do like triple combo, right? And, yeah. I mean, I mean, it was only a couple games that we did, but it was it was it wasn't that bad. It was all right. Uh, yeah, I mean, ultimately, like both players in this matchup are playing for level three. Um, the combo is just the means to maybe get there comfortably. But if you, I mean, if you brain, if you had, if you if you just, you know, if you don't miss brainstorms that often, crutch on some other cards. To get you to level three, maybe not comfortably, you'll probably be like really, really, really on the edge. But um, definitely not in a position to uh, just lose the game. I think I think you'll still have a fighting chance. So interesting, interesting. I do have a really interesting question for you that. Uh, it was actually brought up in a top tier tiers video. It was brought up in the meta discussion. So if you guys yeah. watched that, that was a good video. Uh, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people in 
eastern regions they just literally stop clocking at level one because yeah a quote-unquote in theory it helps you save and conserve damage there's a very little actual rationale to that there's because like, everything you do has tangible applications nothing really connects in that way but you, you see aot being one of the few decks that exists that actually can do that and sit comfortably right like it actually can do that um do you think it actually gives the deck an enormous edge yeah when I mean, you don't have to clock um we don't need the plus yeah it's it's a pretty big advantage like if your opponent is clocking and you're not that's a big advantage i think um especially if you're not giving up anything if you, especially since like you know if you're getting oh shit if you have the same amount of resources as your opponent but you're not clocking i mean that that's just less damage you're taking it is i mean it is almost like a heal almost in that in that sense yeah yeah um the do you, do you know of any other decks off the top of your head that have this ability in ways yeah. to like not clock level milky one? homes milky homes i agree i agree that um cool. off the top of my head is a is a what's it called that deck is sunshine sometimes like sunshine when it's rolling yes, yes. doesn't need to clock any coin flip uh, deck for that matter actually yeah yeah it's one of their biggest uh. strengths actually uh, uh, what's that deck called? The the one that uh, boats don't sink plays the yellow. Uh, Chain Chronicle. Yes. yes. Is, 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 does it have? Well, maybe, but then Chain Chain has to usually clock itself anyways to get its climax again. Uh, I don't know, like, and and it really does need to keep chaining climaxes. I think. So, like, the decisive advantage, like, Melky, this deck, um, what was the third one? Sunshine. They're all very good decks. So maybe this, this, this not clock level one thing is just a huge... Oh, Kimono Friends. Kimono Friends. Dolphin for... variants. Dolphin. Dol uh, dolphin. Decks that use Dolphin. Yeah. It's, um, it's a, it's quite a good advantage, I think, if you're... It's weird, though, because at the same time, an Iliad deck doesn't play the level 1 Kuro combo, but that card would allow you not to clock. Oh, the 2k11? Yeah, or like the Roach, the Kara for Mars combo. Those those plus 2s, those more traditional plus 2s. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, Aaron is a plus 2. What, what I'm pretty... Saying. What I'm saying is, like, do you think that costed plus two versus the costless plus two is actually, like, what defines Aaron in a way that's substantially better? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I mean, there's other parts to Aaron. Um, he denies reverses. Uh, he's big, self-sufficient, he's good trigger. I mean, yeah. On and I mean, his plus two is a little bit more restrictive. Uh, compare that to the curl, right? The curl will just salvage whatever. Like you'll just get raw cards. But um, there's actually something really powerful about Aaron in the sense it's it's actually super similar to coin flip, in the sense that Aaron. So a lot of turns in Wise, you're searching for cards to play. Right, you're searching for cards to play the next turn, so you can attack with three characters. Every turn. Uh, Aaron solves that by himself while getting you a card that'll let you get another card, like your endgame, for free, usually. Um, that is really, really powerful. It's it's almost like a on reverse search plus a coin flip card rolled into one, I think. Mm. Which is... Bananas. Yeah, it's pretty strong. <laughs> it's really strong. Do you think... Uh... So, do you think AOT is carried by... Like, in the mirror, you see... Like, in this game, you literally saw a game that's probably, like, worse than every Go Choose a deck you see get played. No, that's not necessarily, but, like, my point being, like, when no one has the combo, the deck looks pretty whatever. Do you think it's, it's so relevant that Aaron level 1 
that like if it gets hit, if it doesn't exist anymore for the deck, that the deck is just bad. Um, it's probably not bad. Um, not as good for sure. Like definitely not nearly. I mean, because like there's nothing else in the set that can replicate what Aaron does. Uh, the the combo itself transforms mobility gear. Both of them, if you choose to run the 1-1. One, one. It, it turns them both into, like, this insane value play. Where... And then, like... And AOT can get away with doing a lot of things other sets can't, because it has that plus two from Aaron. So, like, you can do things regularly. You can play over cards regularly. You can tank a, you can tank, tank a miss from the Armin. And you don't... And the deck doesn't care. Because... <laughs> It just pluses way too much. Wait, and that's that's actually just ridiculous. That's actually the most abs- that's so absurd. Yeah, that you, uh, can, yeah, that you can like yeah. say I can overplay like two characters. Yeah, and still be and I, oh, I'm still starting the next turn with eight cards in hand. Ooh, so good. <laughs> uh, yeah, and you can and you can do things like gear and main phase, which is so ridiculous. Like using a minus one. Like, like, yeah. Like ReZero uses his minus one pretty sparingly. Yeah, yeah. And that's because it, and it only, usually only does it to set up, like, free fresh turns. And usually, like, there's no other use case for that card. Um, but yeah, if, like, if Aaron got hit or something and the tech has to use Krista, God forbid, um, yeah, that's a lot worse. <laughs> a lot worse, for sure. All right, all right. Sounds good. Any, I mean, uh, me and me and me and Tim, Tom, Dan, Kenshin, Tom, whatever. We've talked about the AOT matchup actually a lot. Do you have anything else you want to share before we end this off? Like the uh, mirror specifically. The mirror. Uh. Eh? I don't know. Um. I, I do think, so, gears are a resource. You only get, in a, in a game, so, okay, usually you get enough gears that it doesn't matter. You can just you know, throw them out. Whatever. I think in this matchup, gears are just super important. You have to treat gears like a limited resource that you get. Um, if you think of gears, like, sometimes people think of triggers this way. You only get a certain amount of triggers per turn, I mean, per game. You want to use your triggers or your like or like brainstorm pits for example you want to use those in a way that maximizes your chance to win the game uh at some point knowing how to prioritize your gears becomes very important i think when you start missing when you start making bad decisions about when to gear when not to gear that's ultimately i think what determines when you was like whether you're going to lose the game more often than not i think Mm. that's really important that's a that that's a pretty good one. The gear is a very 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 um making the right decision on it. I I can do I can attest to that. A lot of times when I first picked up the deck and this was set 1. Even set 1 when you're making gear searches, it was pretty difficult to decide because at the time gears were only one for ones. And even now, ignoring how good Aaron is, the gear is only a one for one. People are like, "Oh, it pluses to field. It doesn't plus anything to field. It's as good as a counter." So what you make out of the it's even board. it might even be worse than a counter because yes. counters counters usually win a slot and it gets you direct attack. Gear exactly. doesn't exactly. Yeah. So, but what gear? How gear shines over the counter is the in, insane selection. Like counters only have selections yeah, with the scry counters. This has your entire deck. Well, there are they're like pay two search counters, but yeah, oh, those <laughs> this... are pay two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, so Tom, Tom made a uh, Tim Tom made a very valuable point there. Uh, I wish we could have shown you guys a game where someone does combo first because it's the most unbalanced, unfair game you'll ever watch. It's one player feels completely sad all game, and one player is just his hands are just his hand is so big, like if he jerked himself <laughs> off, like it would be super satisfying. Um, <laughs> it's just. It's, I mean, I think this game has more educational value than watching one of the AOP, AOT players doing combo first because it's actually just a boring game to watch for the yeah. most part. 
Um, thank you for coming on the show, Tom. I will shout out your channel again. Uh, I think you are, you're with Butts and Coconuts. The the channel, the videos are cool. I wish they make an AOT video, but I think that <laughs> maybe you guys should make an AOT video. We'll, at some point. we'll probably wait a little bit on that one. Uh, wait, wait for Aaron to get banned. See how. The... <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, we, we want to see some of it. We want to see something as far as meta impact before we um, cover sets, which is why we're doing older stuff first. So uh... makes sense. Makes sense. It's a it's a good series, and I do endorse it myself. And anyways, thank you for coming on. Uh, that's it for today, guys. I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Right. See you in the next one.